Hexus TV and this is TCAT and with me is Scott Pacino from Hexus Channel. You could say hello at that point. Oh, hello everyone. Yeah, well done, there you go. Okay, uh, and uh, <laughs> we're going to be uh, talking about Scott's favourite subject, which is gaming, because he is seriously clued you up on this sort of stuff. You say that every time though. I know, because he, to be like, a real you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that at some point you're actually going to start reading some stuff and get into I the do, idea. I always read your stuff. I prioritise <laughs> it over writing stuff myself. Okay, all right then. All right, so we're going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh-huh, yeah, I read yeah. that. Yeah, Great story. That, yeah, yeah, what's the release date for it on the PC? Oh, soon. Soon? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, all right. And, uh, well, <laughs> 18th in North America. Yeah, that's what I thought. November. I said yeah, that. And the... 21st. Of... November. For... UK. No? Yeah, okay. Europe. 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 Yeah, UK and Europe, yeah. Okay, so... Right, um, but uh, it's... Um, on the uh, games for Win Microsoft's Games for Windows website, mm -hmm. um, the system specs were released. Okay. Uh, and then um, disappeared. Okay. Again. But so, but uh, we so managed to grab post them. maybe. Yeah. Um, and uh, basically, the system specs are Windows XP Service Pack Two. As a, this is the minimum specs. Yeah. Okay. Um, dual core processor, Pentium D or better, mm -hmm. and uh, two gigabyte RAM, eighteen gig free hard space, uh, free hard disk space, uh, five twelve graphics card, and a DVD ROM. Uh, DVD -ROM DVD DOM. DVD DOM. DVD DOM. Yeah, DVD ROM dual layer drive. Um, okay, and what's the significance of that? Uh, well, basically, uh, two things really. And uh, if I just can get my little window to scroll down here, yeah. Because um, I'd like to actually mention some of the stuff which was brought up on the forums okay. and the comments on this story. Um, uh, one which was, um, I've already played this on the PS3, I've purchased all the previous games, and to be honest, um, was finally disappointed with this game. Visually quite good, but gets boring fast. Essentially, it's not okay. really fun, so it's a comment on the game. Gameplay but it's also it. bringing it out on the PC, but it's already been out on the Xbox 360 yeah. and the PS3. Ages. So anyone who wanted to play it, I mean, quite a lot of people have a PC and a console anyway, don't they? Pretty much, yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, the trend, the trend seems to be now that um, your PC is used for your web browsing, mm -hmm. um, MSN, all that kind of thing, and then you have a console which is like your main games playing yeah. area. That's what, that's, you know, so that, that's well, you can get you some people it. like me because I'm not a yeah. complete dunce on gaming and I use my PC for gaming, but it tends to be more strategy, sort of RTS type yeah. of things. Yeah, but I mean, the thing, the thing is as well, I mean, it kind of leads back to you know, my, my, my thoughts on graphics cards, which are essentially sort of like, you know, um, and about you know, generally upgrading your machine, is that um, developers could actually make more um, efficient use of, you know, current PC specs at a certain given point of time, right. rather than just basically saying, we're going to design for this spec, which will yeah, be that seems like a relatively mid range in two years' time or whatever. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that, but that, that is the minimum spec. Yeah. And as we all know, minimum spec normally is just like woefully optimistic. Yeah. You know, superb. Basically, optimistic. no yeah. frame rate or whatever. Yeah. Um, so essentially, what it comes down to is um, do you have to upgrade your PC? Probably do. Okay. Yeah. So do you think this might be a driver for sort of component upgrades? Yeah, yeah, some, some, something along those lines. A driver. <laughs> yeah, oh, very good, yes. Yeah, I was trying to... Well, there was actually a game called Driver, but you knew that, didn't you? Wow. So and there's drivers for graphics cards. Yeah. It's very confusing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, so um, basically it was... Um, you've totally blown my train of thought there. Right, <laughs> Sorry, sorry mate. So you've, you've probably already played it if you wanted to play it. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we know that Grand Theft Auto 4 was driving PS3 sales for a start as well. Um, so that's, 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 that's something which we know was going on. So... You would have bought a console if you didn't have one. Yep. Yeah. Um, or, or you got it on the 360. So why do you want to buy it on the PC? And if you do want to play it on the PC, is it going to be one of those games which is driving, um, you know, the upgrade path? Yep. And when really developers should really be trying to make, you know, better use of yeah. the specs of people. My, my feeling is from what you said, it's unlikely to to um, promote a lot of PC upgrades for all the reasons you've just said. But much, uh, yeah. as ever, only time will tell. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. So it's a bit quick bit of commentary on uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 and whether or not you need to upgrade. Uh, minimum specs were up there, now disappeared. Um, and yeah, so there you go. So uh, check back soon on Hexus TV for more from TCAC. So um, when was the last time you upgraded your PC? Well, when I ponced one off an unnamed PC vendor. That's not coal-powered anymore, though. No, no, Steam now. That's oh, sweet. <laughs>